is this a graphics card? Is this a physics card? No, it is in fact made for very fast M.2 SSDs. This expansion card can accommodate up to 4 M.2 high speed SSDs and unless you are on a Threadripper platform or the new Intel X299 platform, you can really use this. This is the Astroc Ultra Quad M.2 card. It is an added on type card that can handle a total of 4 M.2 SSDs at once. In addition, this card can do RAID 0 and offers active cooling for the installed SSDs. The Ultra Quad card has a case made from solid aluminum which also acts as a heatsink. This case has a rather nice linear brush texture. Obviously, as you can see, there is no RGB to be seen and this is not that it's disabled, there is literally no LEDs installed at all, which is great, especially on a product like this, which is aimed more towards the workspace crowd. Removing this front cover is very simple as you just need to flip the card around and remove a total of five small screws. Afterwards, you just lift the cover and you're pretty much done. One good feature found on this card is that it has a 6-pin power connector. This will deliver optimal power to all installed SSDs, even those that might use more than what an M.2 socket can provide. Thus, this 6-pin power connector is just that right thing to have for such a high power SSD. Also, yes, this connector is identical with those connectors used on multiple graphics cards, so you are correct on that one. This card uses a 50mm fan that draws air from outside and pushes it across the four installed SSDs and out the back. The speed of this fan can be controlled through the included software of the card. However, be aware though, this fan is not silent at all at maximum speed. Also, make no mistake, this car is well equipped as it uses a Nuvuton made Super IO chip to handle all its sensors and telemetry. This is often not the case, especially for added on cars of this price, but this one has it. On the bottom part of the PCB, there are four deep type switches that will enable or disable the M.2 sockets available. The purpose of this is that once you disable the sockets that you do not use, then there are more PCIe lanes directed and used to the remaining M.2 SSDs installed. So basically prioritizing the lanes available. And now that we have a good idea about this card and what it can do, it's time to see how it performs. And here is where the main issue sits. You see, this card and many other SSD cards will not work at its full capacity on all platforms, except the Intel X299 and the AMD Threadripper X399 platforms. Why? Because, except those two platforms, nothing has enough PCIe Express lanes available to split in between four SSDs at once, and thus to run up to four M.2 SSDs in RAID 0. And what this means is exactly that. You cannot use this card and four M.2 SSDs at once installed on it if you are not on either the Threadripper platform or the Intel X299 platform. So what can you do then? And why did I even bother to do this video in the first place? Well, this card is not entirely useless. You see, while RAID 0 is out of the question and using four SSD is not possible, you can still use one or two SSDs on this card, especially a high power SSD. Not only that, but such an SSD will also benefit greatly from the dedicated 6 p power connector and also will benefit from that 50mm fan installed. Also, if you are wondering if there is a difference in the performance of an M.2 SSD between being installed directly into the M.2 socket of a motherboard or installed onto this added on card, well, there isn't. In fact, I've gotten the same results with multiple drives, so there isn't really a question to ask. The ASRock Ultra Quad M.2 card is part of a unique product line. What ASRock and other manufacturers are bringing to the table is a quick and convenient option to use up to 4 M.2 SSDs at once, in some cases with RAID 0 fully functional. However, there are issues. Not with these cards, but with the lack of compatibility of the entire market, as not many people will be using Threadripper or the Intel X299 CPUs in their daily usage. This means that the ASRock Ultra Quad M.2 card is only good for two types of users. Those that have those high-end platforms and want to benefit from a RAID 0 array and those that just want to have one or two SSDs installed on an easy to reach platform and being cooled by both a fan and the aluminum made heatsink. For some, this can be an advantage as many modern motherboards use a massive heatsink that covers the entire lower and middle part of the PCB. Thus, to access both M.2 sockets on a motherboard, you need to remove the graphics cards. So this type of add on card can save you a lot of trouble. However, that is a thing that some might not even consider as being important. 
If you like this review, then you can consider subscribing for more. And also, if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below, you can find both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.